there you go. I want to talk to you today about a few things. So, um, I do a lot of tournaments, and you know, you, you have to be prepared for all kinds of things when you're doing tournaments, whether it's um, having to replace screws or needing electrical tape or just a lot of things that you wouldn't think of when you're out traveling doing tournaments. And, and as you go and progress, and these are things that I've learned over time that there are definitely products out there that I need um, to be able to compete effectively and efficiently and the make to, mo to make the most of my time on the water. So uh, that's kind of what I want to do with this little segment right here is to talk to you about um, some of the products that I'm purchasing in anticipation of some of the tournaments that I'm going to be doing this year. Uh, I'm going to be doing the KBF uh, down at Kentucky Lake and that's going to be uh, from from the most part, it's going to, from what I've heard, is going to be a lot of ledge fishing. And from my research, that's what it seems like. Uh, seems like a lot of points, secondary points, but uh, most importantly, sounds like a lot of open water. And to me, that sounds like I'm going to need to be able to maintain my position. Now, the Native Watercraft Slayer Propel is great for maintaining position um, in certain situations, but you don't want to be doing that all day long. You don't want to be constantly trudging water all day long, trying to stay in a position, maybe try to stay on your marker buoy or something. So uh, in anticipation for that, I, I needed a good anchoring system and I didn't have a good anchoring system for my kayak. I don't want to run the trolley system because I don't want to drill any more in my boat and I just don't like how that setup is. I don't like how it slaps the hole a lot of the time. I just, I just don't like it. Maybe you've set it up to where it's absolutely perfect for you congratulations to you. I can't get it set up for me the way that I want it. Moreover, I don't really need an anchoring system all the time for the tournament systems or the tournaments that I fish. Um, but in certain situations like rivers and so forth, an, a good anchoring system, something that I could possibly transfer from boat to boat would be really helpful. I've used dog leashes in the past. Those I haven't got those to work. I've, had, I've heard a good idea about using a retractable clothesline. So um, check into that if you haven't. I've heard that's a pretty good system. Anyway, without further ado, I went to Delaware Paddle Sports and um, they hooked me up with something pretty cool called the Anchor Wizard. Now, if you haven't checked the videos out there uh, that are out there, check them out, man. This is a pretty cool product. Um, but this is something that I've purchased to help me with tournaments as as I go across uh, across the country in a lot of sense uh, to compete in some of these tournaments, these national tournaments. The KBS is going to be another tournament series I'm going to be doing. So, um, but it's not always about purchasing lures. That's what I'm trying to get at. It's about purchasing other things that you're going to need uh, so that you can again compete effectively and efficiently. And, and this is a product that early on I identified that I think is going to help me do that. So um, Delaware Pal Sports, go check them out. This is a, a great product. Um, plenty of videos out there, so, so check it out. But needless to say, it's a winch and something that will hold the anchor. Um, maybe later I'll, I'll do a, a more thorough review once I actually get it out there, test it, get it on my boat and so forth. But from what I can tell, it looks awesome. Next, all right. Um, one of the things I really didn't have this past year was good rain gear. So right now during the off season, there's a lot of good sales out there, and I picked up some Under Armour UA Storm stuff. I got the uh, the jacket here. This is pretty good. I couldn't find the uh, blue model, but actually once I got this one in the mail, I'm actually pretty happy with the uh, the color and everything. And I know Mike Iconelli used this gear uh, the past couple years. <laughs> I tell you, some of the new stuff that they're coming out with is super expensive. So you know the fact that I've got I got this and and these these pants to go along with it. Now I bought these a little bit bigger so that because more than likely I'm going to be fitting these over stuff. So. Um, I bought these uh, a tad bit bigger, uh, but these, uh, these, are, these are what I'm going to use for, for rain gear. And again, this is important because I'm going to be doing KBS events. Those are going to be taking place in Florida, South Carolina, Texas. Um, 
different different areas. Kentucky Lake last year, the guys said it rained a lot there. So, you know, having a good system that I could be prepared in those situations so that I'm not out there either overheating in some um, suit or whatever, uh, something I can take on and off, that was important to me. And that's why I prepped this year and, and went ahead and bought these uh, at a discount over the winter. So, you know, that's kind of my tip for you today is to just look at what you might be doing, look at where you might be fishing, and don't just focus on lures or presentations. Focus on extra gear that you might need. And, uh, you know, for anything that you might be looking for to outfit your kayak, go to DelawarePaddleSports.com, and y'all have a good one.